Lazy Architecto, how do I fix common AutoCAD block problems? Thank you for your great question, Vera. Here are my AutoCAD tricks to fix common block problems in AutoCAD. Coming down from number 4, AutoCAD copy block problem. Sometimes happen that if you want to copy a block to a specific drawing, for instance here, if I want to copy this dynamic elevation window with control C and paste it here, let me remove this window first, paste it with control V, you'll see that my block is not the same. It's, this is just a regular block, but I wanted to copy this dynamic block. So the problem here is that there is an AutoCAD block with the same name in this drawing. As you can see, the name of this block is Dynamic Elevation Window. So type rename and enter and then blocks and look for this specific block. Once you find it, go ahead and rename it. Press OK. Now if you go back to your block library and copy your block or dynamic AutoCAD block again using Control C and go back to this drawing, let me get rid of this window and if you paste it with Control V, as you can see now your AutoCAD copy block problem was solved. You have your dynamic elevation window working nicely this time. Number 3. Fix AutoCAD blocks base point. Here I want to change block insertion point without altering the location of already inserted blocks. For instance, these blocks have base point in the wrong place, creating many future issues such as not able to stretch block, scale block and so on. Fix them all at once. Here is the trick. Open block editor. Draw a line from 0, 0, 0,0,0 origin point to your desired insertion point for your block. Now save and close AutoCAD block editor. In model space, use move command to place your block like so. Finally, access block editor again, remove line and save. As you can see, all blocks insertion points are now in the correct position. AutoCAD block problem number 2. AutoCAD hidden lines not showing in block. Here, if I select this window, as you can see, it's right now on the A window layer. But if I change it to the demo layer or demolition layer, as you can see, the hidden lines are not showing on this block. To fix this issue, you will have to right click on it and choose block editor. Here if this is a dynamic block you'll have to click on visibility mode to turn on all of the existing objects for this dynamic block. So click on the ribbon visibility mode. As you can see everything is showing now on model space. Now type PR to open the properties palette. Let me move it right here. Next, select everything using Control A in your keyboard. And here on your properties palette, change or make sure the line type is set by block. Once you do that, click again on your ribbon 
visibility mode to turn everything off and close and save your block. As you can see now, this time the hidden lines are showing on this specific dynamic block. One more thing that I like to share with you is you can, if you want to change the scale of these hidden lines, you also have to go to your block editor and do the same procedure. Select everything and change the line time scale from the properties palette. If I change it to 0.5, and close and save this block you can see that this dash lines scale or hidden line scales it's also smaller this time if you would like to get this dynamic block let me know in the comments i'll pick two common winners autocad block problem number one autocad explode block problem if you are unable to explode blocks in AutoCAD, I already released a video with three solutions for this issue. If you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything.